Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will talk about component introduction. In this video, I will talk only what are these components and what are the different types of components which we can use in React. So actually speaking, there are two types of components in React. First, we will talk about the functional component. Functional component is something like you will write a function which returns a JSX and that JSX can be anything. So now the function which is returning a JSX that can be used as a component. So now I can use this as a component in my index.js as an HTML element. So you have injected directly that HTML element. In the same way we can also use a class component. Let me show you that. So I will not use this. I will convert this functional component into class component. So now let me write a class and the class name same like app and I am extending if you want to use the class as a component you have to extend react component react dot component or you can directly extend the component now react has been imported over here now what I can do is instead of using this return statement we have to use a function that is nothing but a render function and which helps us to return a JSX so let me return the JSX now from this render so let me copy this and just paste here just uncomment this and format that's it we are done with the class component so it looks the same way but this is something like a class oriented and this is something related to a functional scope now let me go here and let me refresh this so you have the same output let me go here refresh again the same output so you are seeing coding with sai the same way how we have used the functional component but which is the better one and why the people are using functional component nowadays the thing is functional component before version 16 you don't have the capabilities to use this functional components by using different types of states that means you don't have any state transition just it's a dumb component so this dumb component is responsible for receiving the data and showcasing the data at that time class components have this transition state transition you can change the variables you can update the variables you can update the ui at any point of time so at that time the class component is the one which is having a state transition but the functional component doesn't have that state transition but after 16 functional component also behaves and can also implement all the things which are provided by the class component so that is the benefit of using functional component after 16 if you are using before 16 version it's absolutely fine you have to use class component and you must use the class components here after 16 it is always recommended to use the functional component and the second thing which is very important is the class components will always run behind this context so that is a very big deal in javascript where it is very confusing concept but that this context can be removed whenever you are trying to use the functional components you don't care about this keyword in our functional components but you have to take care about that this keyword inside your class component that is also a big deal and we also know that every class component whenever it is converted into a plain javascript again there will be a conversion logic which is very less performative already we know that so that is also one of the reason where functions are very fast to check the conditions or to give the result compared to your class components so that that is also one of the reason where we are trying to use the functional components instead of class components and nowadays functional components are performative and even facebook team is focusing more on the functional components and they are increasing the visibility and increasing the readability and they are reducing the efforts for the developers so that everyone is recommended to use functional components and now in the starting of this series we'll complete all the functional components concepts and then we start the class components so remember we are only focusing on the functional components in the starting of this particular series then i'll continue with the class components and you may be asking why you are doing this series with the class components it's very simple the people who are still before 16 they have to know about the class components and that is the reason we are trying to use the class components and remember you can combine your application with the class components along with the functional components at any point of time so if you see 
the index.js I have injected our class component in the same way I have injected the functional component as well both doesn't differ anything just it differs whenever you are writing the code so that's about your functional component and class component once you are experimenting on this whenever you are trying to start the class components and the functional components and write some set of code you will understand the difference how the state transitions are happening between functional and the class components that's it for this video if you have any questions please put your questions in the comment section I'll respond to you hope you like my explanation if you like my explanation like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you